Those earrings are mine! Gabriel Agreste is one of the best animated villains on television right now. His personal vendettas and grief-filled motivations make him a complex character and someone incapable of stopping his actions before reaching his goal. Ladybug and Cat Noir have unknowingly fought with him for five seasons and with each episode, Gabriel only grows more desperate to succeed. As season five concludes, Gabriel's time as monarch may also be. It's challenging to consider what Gabriel's life could be like without the butterfly miraculous. But one thing is clear, Gabriel doesn't deserve redemption. In this video, we're going over why Gabriel Agreste doesn't deserve forgiveness after his time as a villain. Ziggy, your power is now mine. Number 5. Gabriel is obsessed with defeating Ladybug Gabriel's primary motivation began with saving his wife Emily, who fell into a coma after wielding the broken Peacock Miraculous. After Emily's mysterious disappearance, the series reveals her in the aggressive state in the episode Style Queen. Kept alive in a glass coffin inside Gabriel's repository, Gabriel frequently visits his wife and confides in her about his schemes, doubts, and next moves. Unfortunately, Gabriel believes the only way to save Emily is by making a universe-altering wish with the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. In five seasons, the closest Gabriel comes to achieving this goal is in the episode Ephemeral. When he finally obtains the Miraculous and makes his wish, the episode shows their universe beginning to change but Sass uses his power, Second Chance, to reverse time. As a result, Sass prevents Gabriel's wish from coming true and restores the timeline. With so many failures to his name, Gabriel has grown a vendetta against the heroes of Paris, especially Ladybug. One could argue that Gabriel's motivations are valid as he only wants to save his wife and restore his family. His pursuit would be noble if it didn't border on obsession. In the episode Evolution, Gabriel uses the Rabbit Miraculous to travel through time. He hopes to prevent Emily from using a broken Miraculous, but he instead pursues Ladybug and Cat Noir, which jeopardizes his plan and costs him the ability to time travel. Afterward, Natalie calls him out on his behavior as he had abandoned the opportunity to save his wife because he wanted to beat the heroes. Adrian! We no longer have a choice. Style Queen, you must defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir as soon as possible! Number 4. Gabriel uses everyone for personal gain Gabriel isn't afraid to use anyone for personal gain. He constantly exploits the people of Paris to create villains and even goes far enough to orchestrate events to cause strong negative emotions. In the episode Ladybug, he works with Lila as she puts Marinette in a difficult position. When she accuses Marinette of cheating on a test, Marinette loses the trust of everyone around her. The fallout of negative emotions that occurs allows Gabriel to cause multiple akumatizations. It's not just innocent Parisians that Gabriel will exploit, however, as he will also akumatize the closest people in his life. In the episode Cat Blanc, he exposes Adrian to his mother's coffin and reveals himself as Hawk Moth. Adrian is so upset by this information that he is akumatized into the titular villain. Unfortunately for Gabriel, his plan of heightening the Cat Miraculous's destructive power doesn't go to plan, as Cat Blanc nearly destroys the entire world. Gabriel uses his closest confidant and accomplice, Natalie. Not only does he allow his assistant to continue using the broken Peacock Miraculous, but in the episode Passion, he agrees to akumatize her in pursuit of Ladybug and Cat Noir. In turning Natalie into a villain, Safari, he proves that he isn't afraid to put a loved one in harm's way, no matter how much he may have hurt them in the past. I'm doing it for her, Adrian. For you. For us. Father? Number 3. Gabriel mistreats his family members. After losing his wife and nearly losing Natalie, it would make sense for Gabriel to keep his remaining family close. Not surprisingly, he chooses to do the exact opposite. It's no secret that his relationship with Adrian continues to strain, but he also puts pressure on his connections with Emily's side of the family. In the episode Felix, Emily's twin sister, Amelie Graham de Vanilli, and her son Felix are introduced. Felix immediately takes on an antagonistic role in the series. Throughout the episode, he makes Adrian's friends believe negative things and creates multiple akumatized villains. Felix's genuine reservations don't appear to be with Adrian despite this, as Felix continues to trick and manipulate Gabriel throughout the series. In the episode Gabriel Agreste, Felix is caught snooping in Gabriel's office. Gabriel immediately threatens Felix, including his nephew's life, solidifying their negative relationship. Gabriel is also cruel to Amelie in the episode Emotion. 
In the episode, Gabriel hosts his annual event, The Diamond Dance. The dance is for families of the higher social class to show off their children. As a Gram de Vanilli, Amelie had the right to an invitation, but she shows up uninvited to Gabriel's disapproval. Amelie begs Gabriel to help her find Felix, who had disappeared after stealing the miraculous from Ladybug. Instead of helping his family, Gabriel has Amelie escorted off the premises and continues hosting the dance. Why are you rejecting us? This is not the place nor the time, Amelie. Natalie will see you out. Number 2. Gabriel disregards his son. Grief can have negative impacts on a family's dynamic and relationships. That is the case for the Agrests, who are still recovering from losing Emily. Gabriel divides his time between managing his company and working as a supervillain. His occupations don't leave much time for his son Adrian. Not only does he disregard Adrian's wishes, but he also puts so much pressure on him that Adrian doesn't know how to function in his daily life. Examples of Gabriel ignoring Adrian's happiness happen in many episodes throughout the series. He refuses to celebrate his birthday in The Bubbler, he threatens to take Adrian out of public school in Illusion, and he denounces Adrian's relationship with Marinette throughout Season 5. These situations and many others throughout the series show that Gabriel prioritizes his control over Adrian. Gabriel's overbearing nature continues to impact Adrian in the worst ways. Not only does Adrian not know how to behave in certain situations, such as parties or social outings, but he also doesn't have any direction planned for his life. In the episode Wishmaker, Adrian reveals to Marinette and Luca that he only did what his father wanted. Later on, the titular villain also reveals that Adrian never had an aspiration in childhood, as he only wanted to be what his parents wanted. Therefore, Gabriel's influence on Adrian negatively shapes his dreams, motivations, and relationships. How nice to see you so cheerful in the morning, Adrian. Bananas on your pancakes? Yes, Father. Uh, thank you. Dad? Number 1. Gabriel doesn't regret his actions. The most detrimental of Gabriel's actions is that he doesn't regret them. He is so obsessed with defeating Ladybug and Cat Noir that he scarcely rethinks his behavior. In fact, after many of his defeats, he vows to come at them with a worse plan the next time. Gabriel does not view his behavior, especially manipulating innocent Parisians, as evil. He would do anything to achieve his goal, even destroying his body. In the episode Destruction, Gabriel's dedication to learning Ladybug's true identity puts him face to face with the hero team. It also puts him in the path of Cat Noir's Cataclysm, which injures his arm. Cat Noir's Cataclysm is known to be dangerous, and throughout the series, it has caused occasional harm to other living beings. In Gabriel's case, the damage isn't reversible and the cataclysm begins to spread throughout the rest of his body. The injury appears fatal, and Gabriel takes risks out of desperation. In the episode Intuition, he speeds up the process of his catastrophic injury by excessively using the Snake Miraculous. In the episode, Gabriel uses the Snake Miraculous to reverse time to trap Ladybug and Cat Noir. He goes through numerous time loops, where his body ages while everything around him reverts backwards. The Miraculous's power second chance allows the cataclysm to spread alarmingly fast. The pain eventually becomes so severe that Gabriel gives up entirely, allowing the heroes to win. Gabriel is an unrelenting force of evil in Paris. He isn't afraid to lose everything he holds dear to defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir. Gabriel believes himself to be morally correct and that his motivations are righteous, as he is devoted to restoring his family. Unfortunately, he becomes less connected to reality as the series progresses. It may take Emily herself to convince him to put the butterfly miraculous to rest, and even then, it may be too late. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Natalie, what's going on? She was akumatized by Monarch.